Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hold the result if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer with a dialog window that reads that the drive is not accessible, the disk structure is corrupted and unreadable. So typically this would occur if you're having bad sectors on your hard drive and there might be security permission errors related to such files. So you could be having a failing hard drive, in which case we can explore you know, potential workarounds for that. But if you're noticing a lot of system errors in that regard, generally your hard drive might be on the way out and it may be time to start looking into replacement and then also mitigating and backing up you know, relevant files and data on your computer. So just keep that in mind. We focus a lot on software fixes in this channel, but we really don't go over too much with physical hard drives, physical data recovery, that sort of methodology. So definitely would suggest looking into that at this point, especially if you keep having this recurring problem after this tutorial. So just keep that in mind, especially cheaper hard drives, especially ones that come with computer manufacturers. Hard drives do have a finite lifetime, so it's just worth something to take a look into. You may also want to consider if you have any external hard drives connected to your computer, go down to your system tray to show any system icons that are hidden. Right click on the flash drive icon to safely remove hardware and eject media. If you see any flash drives in here, I'd recommend ejecting them properly and then reconnecting them. So that's again one thing I'd recommend doing in there. And if you're having the issue recurringly with perhaps an external hard drive, you can just open up File Explorer. And then go underneath this PC on the left panel. And then you would right click on that drive. It should appear underneath devices and drivers. You can select the properties option. And then you would select tools and then error checking. This option will check the drive for file system errors. You would select the check button and then you would go ahead and scan the drive. And you could do that for your Windows drive as well. It doesn't have to necessarily be an external hard drive, but just kind of wanted to go through that first. However, if you're still having a problem, we can try running the Windows Memory Diagnostic Utility as well to see if we might be having issues with our system memory. So there's always a chance your system might not be able to properly offload data from your system's memory or RAM to the hard drive, which could create or contribute to the problem at least. So you can close out of here, and if you open up the search menu, type in Memory Diagnostic. Best result, should come back with memory diagnostic or Windows memory diagnostic. Go ahead and open that up. So check your computer for memory problems. Memory problems can close your computer, lose information, or stop working. So you can restart now and check for problems and it recommends you save your work and close any open programs before restarting. Or you can just go ahead and select to check my problems the next time your computer restarts. Either option is fine. Uh, just for you know simplicity and you know trying to kind of make this a more practical tutorial we're going to go ahead and select the restart now and check for problems so we're going to go ahead and select that option and then this will take some time to run depending on your system hardware so obviously depending on your system specs it can be quick might not take very long might take you know an hour or two in some cases so you just want to be patient go ahead and actually let it run the scan here it shouldn't take too long um, and then we will be back with the rest of the tutorial once this has concluded.
So hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.